I'm now motor sailing over to this little beach over here. Just again, just an inch ahead, a mile at a time. So today, well, I anchored by this little island here and I think the wind's gonna be good later. So I'll use that little beach to rig up my windsurfer and it should be nice and flat for some nice windsurfing sessions. Maybe wing foiling too, we'll see. And uh, while I'm waiting for that to happen, I made these uh, little halyard bags out of some old screen uh, for the, these are for the, uh, the head sail halyards. And I'm just gonna screw them in right here. And then I got another one I'll just put in the back here onto the wood probably uh, for the, the main main sheet, just to kind of get the boat a little organi organized when I'm offshore. I rigged up my windsurfing sail over on my island here. Had an awesome windsurfing session. But I was able to get up on plane, but like not quite long enough to get really into the foot strap. So I got my biggest sail. It's a nine meter sail. It's gonna be huge. Uh, Tin Tino gave me gave me it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. We've got about ten knots, maybe gusting to fifteen. So I think that'll definitely do it. I haven't figured out how to get my windsurfer, my camera, I mean, on my windsurfer. But that's something I need to figure out how to do. I think that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, luckily someone. Uh, it was sailing by that recognized me from my video and they they got a video of me windsurfing so that was super cool i was just out windsurfing all day and unfortunately the wind had kind of died down at this point so i'm not going all that fast but uh i was just going back and forth all day and really really having a blast and i, I got like three days of windsurfing so i'm waiting there. around for some wind today i'm gonna do some some boat chores i noticed a lot of the safety wire was missing on the uh of the, the turn buckles so i I put some more stainless steel wire on there so these won't come undone. I've had that happen twice on me. Not on this boat, but other boats. So I'm a little more careful now. Now I think I'm gonna, also I'm gonna cut the bolt rope off of the um, mainsail and see if that uh, will make it better. Just got a pair of scissors, get chop it off. Get this thing to snip, snip. This could be a horrible idea, but I think it'll be fine. There we have it. Oh, that looks so much better. So much smoother. Now I'm gonna cut the bottom one off too. Cause that, that's where you can see the wrinkles. This is like before, and then this is after, nice and smooth. I'd say it looks great. Plenty of life out of that. Unfortunately, I kind of accidentally cut a little too far there. So I need to sew a patch here. Cause I think that could cause a big rip. Okay, now the bottom rope is removed too. And like I say, it looks so much better. That looks absolutely fine now this back edge is a little bit funny but everything else oh it's a million times better now we should be able to actually go upwind had a great day of windsurfing and now i'm trying out my sail look how good that shape is compared to before and we're gonna try to tack our way out of here for a little bit and then we'll probably just anchor maybe a few miles down that way but i want to be ready tomorrow because if the wind switches i'm gonna make it all the way to fort pierce and I got a dock waiting for me at a yacht club there. There's my train of uh, windsurf boards and paddle boards. Dolphins are into it. Can't believe we were able to tag out of that little channel. That's cool. There's an osprey. It is a new day, winds are light. We're about, about six, three to six knots. But our sails are up and we are, we're making miles heading to Fort Pierce, about 16 or 17 miles to go. We might be able to make it. There's a, there's a free dock we can stay at for a few days. And uh, we, I could get to do a, do a talk at uh, the, the yacht club. I don't know, maybe I'll just play one of my videos on silent and talk about it while it plays. Might be kind of fun. Jim is going up. We 
beautiful morning sunrise here. All right, let's finish the sail. Is it tight there? These darn sheets aren't long enough, so I have to untie one to the other. Going at about half a knot right now. ICW fun. Breakfast I'm having avocado and lox. My solar panels aren't working, so I'm nearly out of battery. But if I get to a dock, I think I can take the battery in someplace and just charge it somewhere with the shore power. It's a shame, these, these solar panels I'm using, they're, they're the old flexible panels that I had taken off of Pickled Heron when I replaced them with, them with solid panels. And I thought these were pretty good. They seemed to be working fine when I took them off. But both of them, they seem to have gotten a little corrosion underneath and they hardly put out any power in anymore. I do have the solar power panel for the, uh, the, that came with my Torquedo motor. And that one seems to work okay, but that's only for charging that, you know? I need to charge my phone and, uh, autopilot if I want to use that so hopefully we can make it today it's not looking good but you never know maybe we'll make it maybe a little window pick up or something I had to turn off my refrigerator So as boring as the I3W is, I will say it is nice having this nice flat water because I could never make any progress with this light wind if there were any waves. We are coming up on the first bridge of the day. This is Barrow Beach. That was the home port of the Pickled Heron when I bought her originally. Finally coming up on a little wind. I think these big open spaces, they see the wind seems to kind of flow in a little better. So this, we, we got a little open stretch for a while. So hopefully we can get a few miles in. I put this little tweaking line here so I could kind of uh, play with the jib. I mean the, yeah, the jib Genoa shape right there. I could point a little higher into the wind with that sail because it was it's kind of bagged out of, up there. five or six miles away from Fort Pierce now. I can see the bridge up here. This bridge, we will have to get to open for us. And I think it only opens every hour and half hour. So we might have to wait a bit. 
the currents around here, I think it'd be real strong, like three, three or four knots maybe. So I have to kind of be careful for that as well. But I was talking to my host at the yacht club and I'm all set to tie up to their dock for a few days, maybe a week. And that'd be great to have a dock because I need to recharge my batteries and um, maybe take a shower and get some more groceries too. The water is getting the currents are also getting stronger. I can tell I'm getting close to the, the inlet. So the bridge is coming up, but uh, it's one mile away. We're doing four knots. The current is really giving us a big boost. So I think what I might do is just drop the sails now and we can uh, hopefully time it so we drift in there uh, right before it's about to open for us. North Port Pierce Bridge, this is Sailboat Torfisk. Sailboat Torfisk. This is North Bridge, go ahead. I'm a southbound sailboat. I like to go under the bridge at the 130 crossing. Copy that, Captain. I need to link the heights and the beam of your vessel, please. So now I'm a quarter mile from the bridge. I've got the main and the jib up. I want to keep the sails up so I can get under the bridge really quick when it opens. And then also, I think I'm sure the current's going to turn against me on the other side of the bridge because that's after the inlet. So I need to have a lot of power to get through that, and that one's, it's only going to happen through my sails. You never know, the current might just suck me right out to sea. That would suck. So there it's opening. Let's see if we can get in position. I think we're in perfect position. It's right under. Look at that water. Nice color. Now we go into that bridge, which doesn't need to open, and we're home free. So even with our sails, the current's still a little too strong. The wind's really shifty here, so we're gonna... Oh, the wind's right in our nose now. We're gonna motor our sail through. I'm gonna lower the jib and the Genoa. Guess they've got a water taxi. Good to go. Current's getting real strong under this bridge. It's getting squirrely in here. I'm at full throttle on the motor and we're sailing pretty good. I don't think we're gonna make it. I hope once we get out there it calms down because I can only run this speed for 20 minutes and I might need a little bit more to get up and wind to the dock. So there's our dock. We're having to sail this way because our drift is so bad. The current. But we're headed right towards it, I think. The current is pushing us this way, so we're motor sailing that way. The sails are down. Almost there. Just need to get a bow line on there. And <laughs> if anything goes wrong, I gotta put that anchor down quick because we're gonna get dragged into that bridge. So that was pretty white knuckle. <laughs> I had to do this little turn. The current like picked up right near the dock. Like right here, it was like extra strong. You can kind of see little eddies going on. So like I was almost not able to make this turn and I was gonna like hit go shallow on this side of the dock or I don't know what I would have had to do, do then because there was no way to turn. If I went to try to turn right, then I'd end up on the rocks. So that was lucky, but it ended up perfect, perfect job. They got this nice little dock for me. I'm stoked. We are here, Fort Pierce Yacht Club. So after a week of, of sailing, it was nice to be able to get take a shower and my host, um, Ken and Victoria uh, were really cool and they let me uh, 
chow at their place and they hosted me at the yacht club and I got to do a, a little talk. It was really fun. And um, today I think I'm just going to go explore the uh, for the city of Fort Pierce and see what's what's going on. Not too much wind today, but tomorrow. And I, I think I'm going to be able to do some cool uh, windsurfing stuff out here. The water looks so much nicer here than where I was before. And uh, last night I <clears throat> I don't like being pushed up into docks. Uh, especially since we're kind of exposed here and the dock is like gets kind of high at, at high tide I was worried the boat would slide underneath it so I, I took my anchor and I I just put it way out there and then I kind of winched myself um, out so now I shouldn't uh, slam into the dock when waves come or if the wind turns the other direction today is going to be a day for wing foiling I've got my seven meter sail and the wind is just starting. I think I'll be able to get on across there. Hopefully not get sucked under the bridge by the current. There's a pelican. I took the angle grinder and kind of smoothed out my foil a little bit because it was kind of rough. So hopefully it'll work even better now. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I will take this boat offshore and test it out on my way to uh, Miami and see how it does offshore. Excited about that. And we'll be in search of more good wind surfing, wing foiling sites. And then from there on to the Keys for more of the same. And I, I finally figured out how to rig up a GoPro on the, the wind surfer so I can uh, have some cool video I'm excited to share with you all then. Uh, and then after that, uh, I think I will probably sell this boat as it, when I go back to my, my boat in Europe and pickled herring in March. So if you're interested, uh, keep your eye out for that. I think it would make a good kind of beginner boat or even someone looking into getting into cruising. You could you could sail this across an ocean, I think, without too much work. I'll see you guys in the next video.